Turns out that I've been estimating my dog's age wrong because multiply by seven is not a real thing. Instead, geneticists at UC San Diego created this chart and it's curved, which blows my mind. I love this Cleo Abram video on a 2020 paper that looked at a different way to correlate dog years and human years. Of course, the classic rule is what all my math followers recognize as a linear function. That is, you take your dog's age, you multiply by seven, and that gives you back some kind of human years age. This would be a linear function where the dog's age is your independent variable x, the slope is 7, and the result, the y variable, is the dog's age in human years. It's easy enough to imagine where this initial linear rule came from. If you just take a bunch of ages of dogs when they die and a bunch of ages of humans when they die and correlate those together, you'll see this roughly 1 to 7 kind of relationship. It appears most of the time when they die, humans are about 7 times as old as dogs are. Another way to think about this is to plot out mortality, human mortality, and dog mortality in a histogram where we kind of look at what age most people are when they die and then just kind of try to scale the dog histogram onto the human histogram and when we do that you see this roughly one to seven relationship. If we perform a linear regression on this data it's easy enough to see that the slope of that linear regression is just about seven and so that's again where this one to seven kind of relationship is coming from. The problem the researchers found is that this doesn't really correlate the kinds of aging milestones you would assume associate with a dog's life and a human's life in the way that we would expect. That is, a one-year-old dog isn't like a seven-year-old, as the researchers found. A one-year-old dog is more like a 30-year-old. They can have doggy children and, I don't know, rent doggy cars. So if you look up the original paper, you can see this graph that I've got above me, and this is in the original paper. I did not make this up. I absolutely love that they illustrated human aging with pictures of Tom Hanks. He is the paragon. What are you going to do? When I saw this curve initially in Cleo or Miss Abrams video, I don't know how she wants me to refer to her, she can let me know in the comments, I immediately thought of a logarithmic curve. And so I dove into the paper and that is precisely what's going on. So when you pull up the data, it doesn't necessarily look super logarithmic until you kind of start to spread it out a little bit and then you can start to see the shape of that familiar logarithmic curve coming from the negative y axis, increasing relatively quickly at first and then kind of flattening out as it moves to the right. In fact, we can also get Desmos to perform a a logarithmic regression for us and when we perform that regression we can see just like the original researchers found a logarithmic curve with parameters of 17 and 33 that is roughly if you wanted to find your dog's age in human years you would take the logarithm of the dog's age multiply by 17 and then add 33 so a dog that's one years old well the logarithm of one is zero zero times 17 is zero zero plus 33 is 33 a one-year-old dog is about 33 human years old a nine-year-old dog, on the other hand, the natural logarithm of nine is just a little bit bigger than two. Two times 17 is 34. 34 plus 33 is 67. So your nine-year-old dog is like a 67-year-old man or woman, retired, ready to enjoy their finer days. Anyway, very cool study. Thanks to Cleo for pointing it out. If you want to check out the original study, I'll put a link up here where you can type it in bit.ly slash something or other, and it'll pull up a PDF for you. If you like this kind of video, like and subscribe. I do a lot of math-focused videos here. Comment down below with one of your aging milestones and we will plug it into this logarithmic equation and figure out what the doggy age equivalent is. I'll see you all next time.